Developer Alex Sapir tried to make a deal selling his Miami beach home on the sly, according to his soon-to-be ex-wife. Amidst a divorce from Yanina Sapir, who cited a loveless marriage when she filed last April, the developer of the Surfside Luxury Condo Building Arte brought in a real estate agent to showcase the house without Yanina's knowledge. In a motion filed last week in Miami-Dade court, Yanina's attorney, Barbara Diaz of Orshin, Span, and Fernandez Mesa, asks the court to enter an order that gives Yanina exclusive use and possession of the marital home. The husband may consider himself a real estate mogul, but he is not the mogul of this case, the motion reads. Sapir is the son of the late Tamir Sapir, founder of the New York City-based Sapir organization. Alex leads the firm in the similarly named Sapir Corp. According to the notion, Alex hasn't lived in the family's Miami home since Yanina filed for divorce. Yanina alleges that Alex intentionally arranged the showing for a time she wouldn't be home and allowed the potential buyers full and unfettered access to the home without her knowledge or consent. In a statement to TRD, Alex's attorney, Jason Marks of Kluger Kaplan said, Given the party's mutual decision to dissolve their marriage, it stands to reason that Mr. Sapir would undertake efforts to show the home to those who may be interested. This rings particularly true given Ms. Sapir's public efforts to deprive Mr. Sapir from entering his own home to spend time with his children. The modern 7,300-square-foot Venetian Island home was built in 2018 by former Formula One driver turned spec home developer Eddie Irvine. A company linked to the Sapirs paid $17.3 million for the 0.4-acre property the year the house was completed. Along with the family home, an adjacent home to the north is also owned by a trust in Yanina Sapir's name. The trust acquired the smaller, older home in December 2021 for just over $11 million, and it's been on the market with a top Miami Beach broker, Dora Puig, since about the time Yanina filed for divorce. It's asking for about $14 million. The motion alleges that Alex's actions violate the so-called status quo order, which states that neither spouse will conceal, damage, nor dispose of any asset, whether jointly or separately owned. Yanina originally filed a motion in June of last year to request exclusive use and possession of the estate, but did not pursue a hearing after Alex assured her he would comply without a court order, according to the filings. This is not the only legal battle Alex Sapir has faced with family. In November, Sapir and his ex-brother-in-law, Rodem Rosen, settled a years-long dispute after a New York judge dismissed Rosen's claims, including that he was owed $103 million from Tamir Sapir's estate. The terms and details of their settlement were not disclosed.